everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for being here i truly appreciate every single one of you um to everybody who's viewing my content and enjoying it thank you so much thank you for all your wonderful likes subscribes and shares and views please keep in mind within the channel i do not do any comments okay that is for my protection and yours okay so what i did want to say um is you guys already know within this channel, uh, we follow the astrological body because this is the way in which the universe made us, okay? So uh, right now, we follow the order. We begin in Aries and we end in Pisces. I did skip around Libra. I will be doing that tomorrow. And I am going to be skipping around Capricorn. Um, that will be tomorrow and Pisces will be tomorrow. Um, right now, I am going to be doing Aquarius. So Aquarius, welcome to the channel. Thank you to all of you who have tuned in. For some reason, you guys be showing me so much love. Y'all be loving them Aquarius readings, ain't eh? All right, Aquarius. So let's see here. What do we need to know for Aquarius? We're going to begin with the you and your person. Mm -mm. You and your person reading. Okay. Okay. And we are getting children in the reverse here. Now, children in the reverse, it just means uh, your love life is being affected by children. But in the reverse, it's like it's not really affecting your love life don't know here we go with this concept the concept of oh, who is that man i just wish i knew everybody on a personal level because i would be able to hey listen stop coming into the reading energetically um but no i don't know who it is so children was in the reverse your love life is being affected by children then aquarius you're also getting flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others Okay, so maybe you're not extending your lighthearted energy to others. And then we're getting here, release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. What that means, Aquarius, I have absolutely no clue. Because, you know, you guys have to remember that when I sit here on the table, I'm not thinking about situations. I'm clearing the energy, but I'm also clearing... Um, my mind emotionally physically like i'm clearing everything out i'm not thinking about anybody i'm not thinking about anything so whew. why is this here why is this here aquarius there is the world card here again okay so now I'm not going to put this as your energy because I didn't ask what was your energy. Okay, the world card and then we're getting justice. Something to do with karma. Maybe you feel like you've been able to have justice recently. Um, maybe you've come in contact with an ex and they're telling you about their situation or situations. And it's like, ha, bitch, that's what you get. Oh my God, that's so terrible. Um, sorry, spirit. <laughs> <laughs> that is so crazy. Okay, so let's see here. No, no, no. These are extras still. Two of Swords, King of Swords. So there is a decision here that has not been made. It's like being uh, torn in between two, all right? Um, there's a clear mindset here. Things are being clearer for you, Libra, with the Justice card. It's like, um, you know, you got what you deserved. Holy crap. Okay, this is still something that you are, I want to use the words you're kind of like still contemplating on. All right, let's see here. What do we need to know? What do we need? You see that? Everything Everything is loose. My ring just fell off. I... Mm. This is a really pretty ring too. This is a, I bought this from someone who mounts jewelry in India. I would love to send them a few pieces so that they can mount them for me. Um, what I have on here, moonstone and carnaline. And then here I have another moonstone. Yeah, I'm ruled by the cycles. You guys already know that. 
I'm tapped in. Like when I say I'm tapped in, I'm all of the way tapped in. So let's see here. So what is the energy for Aquarius? Talk to us about this. Talk to us about this. Queen of Cups. Okay. I really want to say too, because I'm looking over here. I don't know if this is a masculine energy or a feminine energy. There's a little bit of flirtation going on with, it could be a baby mama. It could not be a baby mama. Um, because of the children, it makes me feel like it's a baby mama. But it's kind of like, well, do you know, do you remember? Do you remember? Like, you need to remember things are as they should be. Mm. Strength card popped out. My angel chariot knows what they be doing. Okay, so the queen of cups being here is a 20. God the redeemer. Redemption serves against enemies of religion and governs chastity. Okay, so... You might not be giving yourself away as much as people might see it or perceive it because you've got the strength card here means 16, which goes to seven, which is a number of self-reflection, the raising God, loyalty, delivery from those who seek to oppress and brings victory. So <clears throat> I really want to say on the surface, it probably looks like if you're... Um, I don't want to say doing stuff with people, but it, it looks a different kind of way because there's a lot of energies here and it's like, okay, but you're being strong about that. Okay. You're exercising your strength here when it comes to that. Right. Um, and you're also overcoming self doubt. So yeah. You're nurturing this at the moment, but it's not. What I'm going to say is just be cautious with that because it's it could look different to other people, especially nowadays with social media. You know, there's there's a lot of things that could be seen and people will look at it like, oh, this is a picture. But then they'll look at it like, oh, well, why is that picture there? You know, and then they're by themselves and they shouldn't be by themselves because in real life, you see what I mean? Okay. So what is the energy for Aquarius's person, the person they're here to know about? Seven of Swords challenging so for your person Aquarius it's difficult for this person to figure you out they probably even feel like you're a tricky individual right they're getting what is this 66 God nurturing and maintaining everything knowledge of good and evil appeases divine anger and cures epilepsy don't ask me about the epilepsy thing I don't know there's quite a few things written on here like the one rabid rabies why I don't know they're getting your person's getting a second one three of wands the God of hope and number three Construction of the universe helps with great works, protection from adversaries. Okay. So you might be dealing with someone who's still not getting the point. Three of Wands is like the first steps of gaining momentum. It's like there's something they're noticing. There's something that they're beginning to grow to notice with you, Aquarius. And it's like, okay. I was wondering what that was about, right? So just be mindful of that. Um, construction of the universe too is Aquarius. Your person is receiving help from above where they're starting to let them know um, what you're up to or whatever it is you're trying to do. Like if you're a good person and you're not doing anything, that's fine. Trust and know you're not going to run into any situations. But if you're an individual and you're like not being, I'm going to use the words forthcoming about information or something to that nature, it will be revealed. This is something that this person is not seeing. I told you it's challenging seven of swords. So it's like they're not really seeing 
um, something here that's being sneaky. Okay, why is this energy here for Aquarius, please? They really had me shuffling there. Five of Pentacles. Okay, the energy of, of being left out in the cold. Being left out in the cold, right? We're getting number seven there. The forbearing God patience reveals secrets of nature, spreads knowledge and industry. You see, so this person feels like there's some sneakiness going on, right? But there's a reason behind Aquarius's, okay, I'm going to say it. Aquarius's madness over here with choosing the right cup to give to and not give to and really trying to be strong about certain situations. It's almost as if they put themselves in this predicament where they need to be strong and like, no, we can't talk because I'm in a relationship or no, we can't talk. I know you like me, but we can't. This is kind of looking like a turn on in some sense. Um, but it's coming in because of this five of pentacles energy, which is like, I feel left out. I'm feeling left out from this person. Okay. I'm feeling some sort of isolation. I'm experiencing some type of insecurities. Okay. There's a lot of insecurities coming in here. Aquarius. Oh, geez. Aquarius. Normally you're my really good positive sign. What's going on? All right, what is what has led up to the Seven of Swords and Three of Wands? It's the Four of Swords. It's boredom, okay? Number 41, this is God of Trinity. Mission protects against slander and impious people. So Aquarius, your person kind of like got bored of something. They either got bored of the communication or they got bored of the, the way that you were choosing certain things or actions that weren't happening. It's like this is a very active person. And it's almost as if they got tired of trying to figure you out and they're just like, fuck it. I'm just going to say it how I'm going to say it. It's like if this person said, forget it. Um, you know, why bother? What for? Right. And it's like this person decided to go into this relaxation state, this peaceful state, because they're like, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop trying to figure this out. I'm going to stop trying to look ahead because I'm looking ahead, but I'm the only one looking ahead. That's not, this is, this is not going to go for many of you because I am feeling a lot of energy here. All right. So where are we going with this, um, energy here for Aquarius, Queen of Cups and the Strength card? Where are we going? All right, Aquarius, we're going to a partnership. This is the King of Cups, could be a Scorpio. Um, yeah. The world's popping out again, Aquarius, and the Eight of Wands. So, I mean, Aquarius, it is meant for you to nurture a situation where you're going to be becoming more successful. You're going to be um, really achieving this. You're going to feel like you belong finally when you reach this individual or when this individual decides to feel like you're not being boring again i don't know why that's coming in eight of wands is here so this is the change that's coming in i want to read this to you guys because you guys kind of like that uh number 69 god seeing everything restitution finds stolen objects and discovers the person responsible then we're getting the world God, the source of wisdom, fountain of wisdom, gives success in all virtues. Then we're getting with the eight of wands, we're getting number 48, 48 or 49, 49. Great and exalted God, grandeur makes one passionate towards God. So this is leading up to you becoming more 
I'm going to use the word efficient and being able to do what you need to do in order to get where you're trying to get. Now, let's see here. Where is Aquarius person going with this four of wands and the seven of swords? All right, they're going towards the six of pentacles, um, the favorable God, number 10. Divine decree cures rage and pestilence, absolves the guilty. It's an equal give and take. Here's the thing. When your person figures out that there's really nothing going on with you, Aquarius, it's like you're not going to have to say anything. They're just going to know, okay, my Aquarius is innocent. This is masculine or feminine. My Aquarius is innocent. My Aquarius hasn't really gotten involved with anything. Um, and, and bottom of the deck here, you're getting the Queen of Wands, number four, the Hidden God. The divine power guards against mental troubles. See, so could be a situation where someone was feeling like, uh, I don't know. I don't know about you, Aquarius. I'm not too sure. I am not too sure. Um, But they, don't get me wrong, Aquarius, your person has also done something. I don't even know if they've done something. Your person has something going on that made you feel like you needed to act accordingly. You understand what I mean? So it's like, we can't play the blame game here, Aquarius, because just like, you're talking there's something they're not forthcoming about okay so i don't i don't know take it how it resonates take it how it resonates and if listen i'm gonna tell you right now don't sit there and say oh that doesn't resonate my person is perfect there is no perfect person there is no perfect person everybody has some type of flaws okay um you can't be in denial like that because that's how you call in karma. Okay, so let's see here. What is the five of pentacles here for Aquarius? There you go. Eight of cups, somebody who's who's walked away from communication from Aquarius. They've walked away from communication from Aquarius. Um, I also feel too like if, you know, Aquarius, there's a little bit of... It's like you, the way you connect with yourself, but then also the way you connect with others. It's a little bit of an issue. Because they're just like, I'd rather deal with my own issues than deal with Aquarius's issues. And I don't need to deal with Aquarius's issues because I got my own issues. I'm just not telling them about my issues. Give me one more. We're going to have to get two for each section. But Aquarius is coming out with the Six of Cups. So this is communication. So it's a lot of communication that's going on. This is also healing energy. This can also be someone who's not really giving that much communication, but then the one that they want to give communication to is a healing energy. Memories from the past. What do we need to know about the Queen of Cups and the Strength card here? There you go, Aquarius. There goes that Knight of Swords. Somebody coming towards you, very opinionated, very daring, very like, oh, well, you know, this person is very witty too. They're probably going to come out and tell you that they want to take a leap of faith. They want to see where things go. They want to, I just, they want to start back from zero and you're going to be like, well, I don't know, two of swords. All right, what do we need to know about this King of Swords, the world, and the Eight of Wands for Aquarius? 
It's the Seven of Cups, but you have options, Aquarius. You just got to pick the right one. There might be a lot of daydreaming going on with you too, um, wishful thinking, but there's definitely a lot of indecision going on here. And the Two of Wands, it's like, well, we're going to we're going to figure this out. We're going to balance this out because we need to figure out how to get to that world. So I just got to figure out um, which one to nurture. Oh, I'm getting another different message here. Hold on, you guys. So Aquarius also here, and this is not going to go for many of you. This is going to go for some of you. Take it how it resonates. If it fits in, it fits in. Someone has also walked away from communication from you, Aquarius. They're not communicating at the moment, but they feel this nurturing innocence with you and they feel very comfortable with you and you provide like really good um feeling towards them but this individual also feels like with the knight of swords the fool and the two of swords that when you come towards them you're coming towards them in a very daring uh way and they're just like i don't know like i want to but i don't know so underneath, they really want to go ahead and take that next step with you. But then on top, on the surface, they're like, you know, I just, I'm not too sure. You know, you're making me nervous. Now, what I think this person is waiting from, for, from you, Aquarius, is for you to make the right option. And come towards them the way you need to come towards them. You can't come towards them in a night energy. You have to come towards them providing some type of guarantee that this is going to work out. Ooh, okay. So let's go into your person here. Why is the Four of Swords for Aquarius's person here? Two of Pentacles. They're just tired. They're tired of balancing. They're tired of being resourceful. They're tired of dealing with emotions that are all over the place. They want somebody that they can collaborate with, that they can work with, that they can find big obst um, obstacles. <laughs> you might have big obstacles, huh, Aquarius? Um, that they're able to overcome these challenges and go through these archways because archways are opportunities nine of swords and the ten of cups this person is losing sleep it's not that they're losing sleep they're just very weary about it they have a fear that you're definitely the one <laughs> okay what do we need to know about this seven of swords i just love it i love when it comes out like this, like, I've got to fear that this person is the one. You guys know that's the main energy, right? That is the main subject that's been coming in in these readings is like, holy shit, that might be the one. Um, So, Knight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, right? I'm going to say this as gentle as possible, Aquarius, and listen to me carefully. Your person is waiting for the right person to come towards them and give them an equal give and take. Someone who is going to balance the scales. And because of that, they find it challenging because, yeah, they see things ahead, right? They see themselves ahead with someone. They just can't see who it is yet, okay? I'm not going to say they're hoping is you. What I am going to say is... They're hoping it's someone. But if it's you, they're going to lose their shit. Literally. This person is losing their shit here. Oh, my God. Can't believe we were able to build all this together. And yeah. So that's kind of like the energy your person is in. What we need to know for this Six of Pentacles here for Aquarius, please. There you go. Not until there's transformation, not until there's change, not until there's a rebirth of some sort of situation here. You know, it's sad because 
this change can be very chaotic for some people. But if your person, Aquarius, is a Scorpio, Scorpio is the death card. We embody that. We we own that. We own being able to change and being able to get things done and do what we need to do. Scorpio is also the Seven of Cups. I hope y'all know that. So there's a strong Scorpio energy here for you, Aquarius. You just got to um, figure this out. Okay, let's see here. What do we need? What else do we need to know about the Six of Pentacles? You're going to find out the truth, Aquarius. You're going to find out the truth. It is going to be revealed to you. But when it is revealed to you, you just got to make sure that you answer the call. That you understand why things are happening the way that they're happening, okay? Um, there's blame here. There's forgiveness here. There's also composure here. So you're going to need that because when this is revealed, when this is revealed right here, which is some sort of deception or some sort of insecurity that's going on. Oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at the moon. He's got like some type of face there. And it's like, I am fucking sorry. Like, I do not mean to be that way. Right? So, or I didn't mean to be that way. Both parties are going to be receiving some type of truth. Knight of Wands. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're going to discover it. They're definitely going to discover this. They're definitely going to figure it out. Um, it's there. It's definitely there. And when they discover what they need to discover, that's it. Game over. That's what I'm hearing. Game over. Bottom of the deck. Look, Knight of Cups. They're going to make an offer. You're going to make an offer. And with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like, you're going to figure out how you can do this. Seven of Swords, some type of communication and why you've been holding back. Strength card, why you've been holding back. But you're going to be able to do this. You're going to be able to make this connection stronger. And you're going to heal this. You just need the courage. Yeah, I'm telling you guys. Okay, Aquarius, so this is going to work out. This is going to be a decision that you really need to make. If you're dealing with, I don't know why that's coming in, but if you're dealing with a baby mama situation, you're going to have to figure out how to handle that. Unless you really want to be there. If you really want to be there, then that's fine. But if you don't really want to be there and you want to be with the with the other person, you need to work on that. You need to work on it. The children are not an issue. I've I've touched this subject already in three different readings. Children should never be an issue as to why a relationship is not moving forward or a connection is not moving forward. No, that is not the answer. The answer is learn about privacy and learn about boundaries. And then you will be able to be successful and you know, begin to make the choices that you would like to make for yourself. 